video I'm going to show you how to set up an assistance phone so that it can monitor the extension of another person. For example, the head of middle school boys, Josh Budd, has an assistant, Laura Huber. So as the assistant for middle school boys, when you call Josh, we can have that call also show up on Laura's phone. Uh, she can answer it, send a voicemail, transfer, etc. Um, and it will also help to, for her to know when he's on the phone. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to log into the Shortel server. And you may be using Zinc or you may be using Shortel, but then you authenticate with your AD credentials to the actual Shoreware director. Under Administrators, I'm going to choose Users. Control F, and I'm going to find Huber. There we go. I'm going to open up Lars' record. So you see a quick glance here. Her extension is 1323. She has a direct dialed number. Um, here's her phone. Here's where her email is all set up, as well as through her escalation profile. I'm going to click Personal Options, Program IP Phone Buttons. Now, very important, you have to know what kind of phone she has. So Laura has a 265, and you can see that's here. If she had an IP 655, which is the nice sort of executive phone, you'd have to select that before you program any buttons. So for any of these phones, the 212, 230, 230G, etc., make sure this option is selected. Now, the second important thing to know is how many lines does this phone have. This particular phone has six lines. So I'm going to start with her last button, and I'm going to choose Monitor Extension. I'm going to put a label that shows up on her phone. Uh, next, I'm going to type in an extension or a name and do search. I'm going to tell this option to be None. I'm going to show the caller ID, but only when it's ringing. Once they pick up, I don't want her to see who it is. I'm going to leave this first option as Speed Dial, and the second one is going to be Blind Transfer. So let me explain a little bit. First, this option here, ring delay before alert, means none. So when you call Josh's phone, Laura's phone will also ring. If we were to select don't ring, Josh's phone would ring, Laura's wouldn't ring, but the button would light up. So in this case, we want it to ring so they know. And I can see us possibly changing this for people. Um, again, the caller ID is only when it's ringing, so it might give her an option of if she wants to pick it up or Josh, depending on who it might be. And then these options allow, when there's no one on the phone, she can simply just press this button to automatically speed dial Josh. The other thing that the transfer blind does is it allows her, when she's on a call, to just hit that button to transfer to Josh. It's a nice quick feature. Um, it's kind of like two actions on one button, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to save this, and we're all done.